Are you tired of hearing talking heads speculate about the economy? Us too. Are you tired of hearing Democrat Party propagandists gaslight you about the economy? Us neither. Hi, welcome back to the downfall of our society. But before that happens, make sure to hammer fist that like button and subscribe. It's the economy, stupid, so how should we cover it wisely? What he obviously means here is how can we spin this to protect Joe Biden and the Democrats? Economists seem to be struggling to explain this weird economy, maybe the weirdest economy we ever lived through. No, what we see are Democrat Party propagandists like yourselves attempting to redefine what a recession is. People want to know, is this a recession or not? The White House is arguing about the definition of the term. The media is basically caught up in that debate as well. Does anyone think for one second that there would be any redefining or debate over what a recession is if this were a Republican administration? This isn't speculation. We know this to be the case, as I pointed out in my last video, showing the media excitedly declaring a recession after they had all been wishing for a recession as a means of getting rid of Trump. Not hyperbole. Just to put a finer point on the politics of all this, because obviously we are now heading into the election season. The president has been underwater for his entire presidency in terms of job approval. The one area where he's been above is the economy. People have given him credit for the economy. And if that if the economy goes south, he is in a world of hurt. Going to read it? I'll do dramatic a dramatic reading. I'll, I'll, I'll do okay. a dramatic reading. Allison Camerata asks, is there anything... Are you playing Allison? You want to play Allison? No, you play Allison. All right, Allison asks, <laughs> is there anything that he could do that would lose you? And Daryl, his most ardent supporter, says, start losing money. Then the other ardent supporter says, the economy crashing. Uh, he was able to convince the public that what was actually luck was in fact skill. And now that his luck is turning partly because of his own actions, you know, he could lose a lot of those supporters. Strange, isn't it, that when we have a Republican president, a recession is what it's always been. And it's a reason to kick that president out of office. So let me bring in a guest that I've wanted to interview for a long time, Paul Krugman. He is, of course, turning into Mitch McConnell, apparently. He's a Nobel laureate and economist, a distinguished professor at the City University of New York's Graduate Center, and a longtime columnist for the New York Times. Wait, wait, wait. You forgot to mention former Enron advisor, the very same Enron that helped to cause the so-called Great Recession in 2003, being consistently wrong about everything. And... <laughs> Someone who claimed that child pornography on his computer was there because he got hacked. We got one! But when the Insog party is in power, history is erased and the definition is changed. It's just so crazy. Krugman is the perfect fit for the Orwellian-inspired name of this show, Reliable Sources. Uh, welcome to the program. Thank you for coming on. Hi, thanks for having me. Can we dispense with the recession debate real quick? Are we in a recession and does the term matter? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, no, we aren't, and no, it doesn't. I mean, the... Uh, <laughs> One sentence, that was it, huh? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess that's all settled then. First, this human walrus hybrid declares that the debate is over. Then, to gaslight us even further, they both agree that it doesn't even matter. Totally something they would be doing if Trump was the president, or any Republican for that matter. I know that I and many others constantly reference Orwell when discussing this topic. But if you haven't read that book in a while, I highly recommend you do. For now, check out a couple highlights from this video by a very high quality quality channel called Alternate History Hub. You can find a link for the full video in the description. The party's grip on the mind is so powerful, what once was an unquestionable fact, like a name, is similar to a faint dream. You question if it even happened, if it was ever real at all. This is the most prominent attribute of Oceana, the control of information to such an extent that facts are not reality, and reality can be changed simply on the whim of Big Brother and the party, INSOC. The Ministry of Truth, the propaganda arm of the party, propaganda is to put it lightly. This purpose of the party is to rewrite, invent, or destroy any conflicting bit of news and history that goes against the party. Uh, welcome to the program. Thank you for coming on. Hi, thanks for having me. Can we dispense with the recession debate real quick? Are we in a recession, and does the term matter? Uh, no, we aren't, and no, it doesn't. 
the redefining of words and the manipulation of language to suit the party's agenda. The shutting down of debate by a propaganda class to protect the ruling party. The erasure and revision of history to fit the party's ideological beliefs, forcing people to deny objective reality and biological science in place of a delusion. That's all for that one. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, share and subscribe, then leave a comment to let us all know what you think. See you all in the next one.